different wineries around the area. This is where for generations families have worked tirelessly to produce some of the best tasting wine in the country. That includes the Whitaker family. Now today you can visit the original wine cellar here in Altus and taste the rich history that comes from the family and the viticulture region that they've helped to build. Now this family settled here in the 1880s from Switzerland and they almost ended up though in South America. However, a last second decision changed the course of history for them. We could have been in Argentina, uh, but they found out about this area and from Subiaco uh, Abbey across the way and uh, decided to come here because it kind of reminded them of the foothills of the Alps. And another well-known name when it comes to families here and wine is the Post family. They also settled here back in the 1870s from Germany, originally selling wine to passengers on the Iron Mountain Railroad. Well, today the family owned and operated business has grown into one of the largest winemakers in the state and the region. Their famous Muscandine wine or Muscandine wine is available in more than 30 varieties and now sold in surrounding states. From the ground up, we do uh, grow the grapes here and we crush, press, and we ferment the wine and of course bottle it right here, here in Althus. And here's a map showing you how to find Arkansas wine country. Now, if you're coming from Fort Smith, you can take, uh, you can exit off of Interstate 40 near Ozark, take 64 down into Altus, or you could also jump off of uh, near 186 and head south. That's where you'll find Whitaker, Mount Bethel, Shadow Ox Arc wineries, and many others. There are, those are the main wineries, but uh, there are several other small ones here in the area. And coming up